What's up, guys? Checking out the, the rancho's house. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, a jog, a walk through memory lane. See if you guys are interested in, or if we are as a family unit interested in renting this thing. grass is amazingly green. No offense to dad, but <laughs> this is like green beyond green I've ever seen here. Got some toadstools. This olive tree looks very healthy. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. There it is. I don't think I can get in here. Maybe yeah, I can. Hmm. It's a little bit rainy. See the model airplanes off in the distance. <laughs> I remember we set up this thing. What do we have? This is where Brian almost burned the house down. I remember that. Uh, garage doors look a little bit of a different color. Didn't this house used to be yellow? I don't remember. Don't remember. Kitchen. It's all kind of open now. Uh, no more triangle, really. There's a triangle, but there's no trees there anymore. Just stumps. I kind of remember those things vaguely. No, maybe those weren't ours. I don't remember. Got to keep the bad guys out, right? Rugs look clean. There's the old fireplace. This is where uh, all the poltergeist action was happening. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Turned out to be a cat, I think. There's mom and dad's room. I've been in almost all of these rooms as far as sleeping arrangements, I think. Except for, except for the, the master. Yeah, so there's no fence. I used to have the fence here dividing the, uh, it's raining, I don't want to destroy my phone. We used to have a fence dividing the, uh, this backyard here from the garden area. There's no more fence. This tree here, this is where we had that tire swing and I dropped that, uh, I dropped that, <laughs> that hose on my head made that little ring-shaped uh, scar that I got to pick at for a few months afterward. The Gilman's place, looks like it's still... Oh, the Gilman's place, oh, there's yeah, there's a new house back here now. Gilman's place is still there. So, walnut tree, Mr. Walnut tree has been cut down. No more, no more uh, grapevine. This tree here, I don't remember exactly what that tree was. Uh, yeah, there's no more fences. Did we have this power line coming here before? I don't remember. It's 
So this is the garden area, or what used to be the garden area. Everything has sort of uh, been covered in grassy sort of material. Not a lawn per se, but grassish. It's grassish. The eucalyptus trees are still there, but they're they've been uh, chopped. I think they used to be something like a hundred feet tall, and now they're about half the size. I don't know what these things are. Oh, maybe these were our original bushes, just trimmed up a bit. We can go for a little stroll in the woodland. I have a feeling I'm gonna destroy my phone, but... Oh well, won't be the first one. These are much thicker uh, vegetation here than there used to be. There's no people anywhere, it's very strange. Just stuff. Armando. The Garcia is right, Joshua? Remember, Joshua always liked Julian. I remember that much. So that's Sam's place across the way. The whole rancho seems tiny to me now. The streets are smaller. Tom's house across the way. This is uh, this is our road, Rosemi Drive. Same quality. They probably fill in potholes once every three years. I'm kind of trying to protect the phone. It's all Tom's house. And I'm going to destroy my phone, so I'm going to cut this off now. But hope you guys enjoyed that, and let's uh, talk about if we want to rent it, possibly, or not. Alright, bye.